Hey, this is Matt Titel with an Audio Helm for Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to use the native synthesizer, how to play notes, and how to change parameters um, of that synthesizer. Uh, so what's the native synthesizer? Um, well, let's pull up the synth engine and let's do it first. It's a cool patch. Okay, those are some patches. Um, there's over 300 to choose from, so you get the idea. You can uh, go through a bunch and uh, see what you, uh, see which ones you like. Uh, so the way this works is that this is the synth editor, and it, you can create patches with it, and then export them into Unity, and there's a synth engine there running inside your game. So you can play notes uh, like these, like this graphical keyboard down here from code. Um, you can change the parameters through code. Um, so you can get some really dynamic um, and generative music going from it. Okay, so let's open up Unity and start the tutorial. So I have Audio Helm here imported into a new project and an empty scene up. So the first thing we want to do is load up the native synthesizer. Uh, so we're going to right click in the project window, go over to create audio mixer and call it my mixer. Okay, gonna double click on it, and that will open up the audio mixer window. Uh, if we click on the master audio mixer group here, we notice that there is just an attenuation module on the, in the inspector. We want to click on the wheel here on the attenuation module and go add effect before uh, helm, and go down to helm. This is the native synthesizer. Uh, we can't hear it yet because there's nothing in the scene to tell it to play. So if we're going to go over to our scene, over to the hierarchy over here, right click, create empty, and we're going to rename this to synth. And in the inspector, we'll add the a script called helm controller. Okay. So this helm controller um, sets up an audio source uh, that you need to map to that audio mixer group. And then you have a graphical keyboard down here that you can play notes uh, while it's in play mode. So in the first thing, the only thing we need to do is uh, set the output uh, to that audio mixer group. So click on that little circle here uh, next to that audio mixer group field, and then go down to my mixer and select master. Okay, now if we click play, we can play this little thing, the little graphical keyboard with our mouse. Okay, that's uh, just the initial patch that it starts up with. It's kind of boring. Uh, we can change that patch by clicking on the audio mixer group in the mast, uh, uh, this master audio mixer group while it's playing. Uh, so we're going to click on that, click on edit in play mode, and we'll go down to, say, keys. Um, this is the patch browser right here. Uh, you have a folder, and then you have the patches in the, in, in the folder. So we're going to click on keys here. And then we're going to, which is just like things you would play on a keyboard, um, the multiple notes at the same time, and go down to UG. I like these these uh, these patches by this guy a lot. The initials are the author. So click on that, see what that sounds like. first one that I'm just gonna do that piano one cool uh, so we're going to go back to our synthesizer here we can uncheck play mode and that's actually stays that patch stays uh, because audio mixer settings uh, persist outside of um, when play mode is stopped uh, so when you click play again if we click on synth here and play it in the inspector it's the same patch okay now let's trigger this from a script um, so in our scene, we're going to right click and we're going to do a sphere, double click on the sphere. There it is. 
and we're going to right click again and create a cube. I'm going to place this cube underneath it somewhere and kind of tilt it and resize it a little bit. This will be like a little platform that's going to hit and it's going to plan out when it hits this platform. Okay, the other thing I need to do is add a rigid body to the sphere. So click on sphere, go over to add component here, rigid body. Okay, let's click play, see what that looks like. Boom. So I want uh, a note to trigger when that collision happens. So we're going to uh, want to click on the cube here, add a script to the cube, um, go over to add component. I'm going to create a new script called note on bounce, just to create a new script. Okay, we're going to do some scripting. It's going to be really easy. Open up your text editor. Note on bounce. Okay, now we got a new script here. I'm going to zoom in. Hopefully, you guys can all see that. Okay, at the top, uh, we're going to have a reference to our helm controller, which is what is going to play the note. Um, so, we're going to go type in audio helm dot helm controller. I'm going to call this, uh, this field helm controller. Okay. Uh, we're going to want to make that public so we can see it in the inspector. And then we're going to create uh, another public variable called public int note. And this is the note that's going to play. And it's the MIDI note. So it starts from zero being a really like the lowest note to 127 being the really, really highest note. So somewhere in the middle is like 60. So I'll just have that as a default. Okay. And then there is a function that we can override called on collision enter. And it takes in the collision uh, object. And this is triggered when a, a physical collision happens with this object. And so all we want to do is right here, we're going to create uh, play a note. Uh, so just type in our helm controller variable. Um, we're going to call the note on function. Pass in the note. There's uh, two parameters it's expecting. It's expecting note and it's expecting velocity. Velocity is like how hard you would hit it on a keyboard. So if like you hit it, you slam down on a piano, it's really loud. Or if uh, um, you tap really softly, it'd be really quiet. Some patches respond to that, others don't. So it depends on the patch. Um, so we'll just type in one for now, one being the loudest. Um, and then there's an optional third parameter called length, which is, it'll do an automatic note off. So we don't want to just keep the note on forever. So this would be how long we hold the note for. So we'll say half a second. All right. That should be good. Let's go back to unity. Um, and, and we have just have to set up this reference to the helm controller. So we're going to drag, click on our cube, drag synth over to that Helm controller field and click play. Great, that's really simple. Uh, let's have a little bit of fun with this. We're just going to put that here and we're going to tilt it. Kind of set it up like that. And then I'm going to duplicate it, uh, control D and the inspector, or sorry, in the hierarchy. I'm going to rotate it, make, make like a little, like, what's it called? Rube Goldberg type thing. Put that there. Duplicate again. All right, that should be good. And we're, let's uh, change the notes for each one. So the first one will play note 60. Next one will play note 67, which is a, up a fifth. And the third one will play note 72, which is up an octave. So let's try that. Great. Yeah, so that's like a basic setup of playing a note. Um, let's do one more thing. Uh, let's just change a parameter in our synthesizer. So say, um, 
say we wanted to uh, change the uh, ch so some of them have so there's a sub parameter so like uh, so if you play a note this is really bassy if you have the sub volume way up if you have it really low it's there's no sub so maybe one of these will increase the sub uh, volume by a bunch so let's go back into our note on bounce and have a public float sub volume and we'll set it to zero by default and on the bounce we can set that parameter it's so really simple it's just helm controller dot set parameter now there's two uh, set parameters here there's set parameter percent and set parameter value so you can set the parameter percent which is like uh, zero would be all the way twisted to the left which is like all the way down and one would be all the way twisted up and set, and set parameter value would be good if you want to set something exactly um, like the chair and suppose if you want to go up an octave you could set it to 12 or something so just set, we'll do set parameter percent and then we're going to type in what parameters change so which is audio helm dot param dot uh, k we're looking for sub volume okay and we'll set it to our vari uh, variable sub volume okay so this first one will have no sub volume the second one will have a sub volume and the third one will set the sub volume all the way up so we can hear like a drastic change. Uh, gonna click play again. So it sounds pretty different because uh, the sub uh, really came in there. So it really changed the sound. Uh, but that's a really simple way to set up, um, where is it? The script, there. Just a change parameter. And you could set this to be like uh, a mouse position or a slider position, or like you say your character's running around a little room. If it's on the left side, it can set the it can slowly set the parameters, you know, uh, in one direction. And if it runs to the right side, it can set uh, it can set the parameters to something else. Um, there's a lot of room for a dynamic audio here. Um, the last thing I want to do is show you how to create your own patch using the synth editor. Um, so let's open the one we were playing with. Uh, we could just do control, uh, control O, browse to our, um, our project, and it was under keys, audio helm, presets, keys. We had UG, I prepared a piano for you. That was what the patch we chose. So this is the patch. Um, so we can edit this and then re-export it. So let's change some things. I'm just gonna fiddle around. So what we're going to do is just click on export here, uh, go to our project, Helm, uh, which is just under assets, uh, and we're going to want to save it into the Audio Helm presets folder. And we'll put it somewhere, we'll put it in keys too. We'll call this synth tutorial. Save that. Come back here. Okay, now we can browse to it in the patch browser. So we'll click on the audio mixer group, go down to keys, uh, and we're gonna do this in play mode. Click on keys here. What was it called? Synth tutorial. There it is. Click on it. And now if we restart it, there's our patch. It was played a little higher, so it sounds a little bit different. All right, that's the uh, that's the basics of the native synth. 
Be sure to check out the other tutorials using the sequencer, which allows you to create uh, musical sequences and drum beats. And um, check out the sampler tutorial, which shows you how to use an audio sample to generate a musical instrument. All right, thanks for watching.